everybody, I want to wheeze them here at 10.49 p.m. We just checked out the light elemental powers, and now we're going to move on to the night weapon power and secret technique showcase. So, uh, we've got our light knight here at level 5. The health is 420. You will not see that on the screen. I've been having to test the soul gem. More on that when we get to that point. But uh, the attack 12, armor 14, speed 11, and luck 14. So uh, what we want to do is just get cracking here with our weapon powers. Uh, we're going to begin with Duelist. You're going to press X. Oh, what do these cost? <laughs> I might be short a little bit. I was thinking only of the... 2000 upgrades which would be 8000 you know buddy uh press x to for fast sword swings that hit foes in front of you right so this is actually a pretty involved we're gonna be like 800 short dang it <laughs> um this is actually a pretty involved attack i'm not gonna lie there as it stands right now at level five it's a five hit combo if you will so if you're just swinging slowly for whatever reason that i can't imagine um you're gonna do 50 to 75 however there's one two three four and then five so you sort of like swing left swing right swing left swing right and then just jump up and lay down the boom right i'm gonna come down here and grab this cash just because uh we do need some i'm afraid that was uh I was only accounting for the 8,000, and that's where we went wrong, sadly. I think it's 700 for these, but uh, basically, here's what we're looking at. Right? <laughs> so, uh, 50 to 75, 34 to 51, 34 to 51 again, 56 to 84 for our fourth hit, and 67 to 101 as the finisher. Note, if you face correctly... On that final hit, the wave sort of travels and it will actually hit nearby enemies. So point blank range though, you're kind of isolated one on one. Again, the finishing maneuver on Duelist can travel forward and inflict damage. So let's come in and master it, <laughs> which is the money I didn't account for us needing, sadly. Uh, press X for rapid swings. Press X while jumping for a powerful wind shear. Hmm. You know, I was the one thing I was sad about with the knights is that there wasn't just a standard jump slam from the primary attack. So maybe each of these will get something. I've not looked ahead, so I don't know. Uh, so X on its own is probably what we've got, and then X while jumping is a wind shear. I'm not sure what that entails, but we're gonna find out. <laughs> so uh, here we go. Let's see if we've got the same thing. Oh no, it went up too. Okay, this is where we have to document. So uh, 65, half of that would be 32, 5, which is 33. So 65 to 98. 45, half of that, whoops. Half of that would be 22, 5. So that's going to be 68. I'm assuming the third hit will be 45 as well. We're about to confirm. Yep, our fourth hit. 73 uh, half of 73 36 5 37 that's 130 on the critical and then our grand finale the fifth hit 84 all right so 84 half of that that's going to make 126 in shear is what i'm going to put and let's take a look at it over here but i should mention before doing this if i jumped in the air, we would just do our first swing at 50, uh, which wasn't terrible, but again, I was kind of hoping for something special, and this may make up for it. So let's see if we get this from a distance. 67. It's not terrible. Uh, I thought it looked like it should travel to the other dummy. Apparently not. Uh, proximity. Yeah, well, hey, 67 to 101, so it just kind of adds in a jump attack, which is actually fine by me, in part because our damage numbers increase so much across the board internally. Uh, so this might not seem like a ton of damage, but when you add it all up, it's a big deal, a very big deal. Uh, next up, we're going to switch to Gladiator. Uh, press X for powerful swings that hit foes all around you. So uh, let's showcase it. The way this one works, it's like a four-part combo. You've got one, two, three, and then 
spin is really three in my opinion and then you've got to jump up in the air. By the way, if I jump and swing with Gladiator, we do our first hit. Case in point, 34. Jump and swing, 34. That's how it was with Duelist. I uh, just forgot to showcase it. So, uh, 34 to 51, 39 to 59, 78 to 117 on the spin, and then the slam is 126. 84 to 126, I should say. So, the cool thing with this is you can see that we're way more likely to hit both characters. It's sort of designed that way. Uh, Duelist is basically, let's fight the well, right? And then Gladiator is kind of like, let's fight everything in this circle at the same time, you know, type of a deal. So uh, that's the differential between those two base uh, primary attacks. And let's go ahead and upgrade it, and that's going to make it to where I can't afford the final upgrade, but hey. Master Gladiator. Press X for strong swing. So I'm thinking it's going to increase similar to what we saw with Duelist, which is fantastic. Press X while jumping. Oh, to create a suction field. Okay, so I'm now no longer salty about not having a specific jump slam attack tied in with the primary. The Knight Secret Techniques does have one, but obviously that's going to limit you to just that attack. Uh, so I think this is going to turn out to be pretty good. Now, recall we were doing 34, 40, that's a big jump. <laughs> so uh, 45, that would be what, 68, correct? Uh, I believe so. One, two. Oh, dead gun. Come out here. 50 to 75 now on the second hits. Uh, for reference point, it used to be 39. So we've plused 11 both times. Third hit was 78. If it's 89, we might have uncovered the pattern. Oh, that's 101 now. <laughs> 101 to 152, conveniently. So no, we didn't uncover a pattern of plus 11, but that's even better because that's a huge jump. 78 to 101, that's 23. I'll take that. And now our final is 112, right? Sweet. Okay, so 112, half of that would be 56, right? Dun, dun, dun. Yes. So 168 on the critical hit. And then... What do we want to call this? I guess we'll take a look at it. Is that 28? 28 to 42 with a vortex that would pull them in. Obviously those dummies are stationary so it doesn't showcase well, but uh, vortex 28 to 42. Uh, that works for me. <laughs> uh, dun, dun, dun. So there we are. We've got that logged. And it is now time that I panic and realize we've got to get some freaking cash. But I guess we can drag this out a little bit longer. <laughs> That's what we'll do. So, secret technique time. These are our four techniques specific to the night battle class. We get started with upper cutting sword. Press Y to knock enemies up in the air. All right. So, uh, we'll come out and showcase this. It basically... Whoops, wrong button. It is at level 5 doing 76 to 114. Uh, it does send enemies up in the air. It's not like a huge deal. Um, you know what? What do we need? We need 800. Where could I go to get 800? We can't level up is the problem. Um, we can nickel and dime this for eternity. <laughs> Okay, if I could get to the eyeball and somehow not kill anything. Do I want to do this? Um. I, can't, I think we will. <laughs> so, I might have to switch. I apologize about this, but I was only accounting for the 8,000. I was like, wow, I've nickeled and dimed this up to 8,000. So, it's kind of a buzz killington, but maybe I'll speed this up. Maybe I won't. I don't know. <laughs> I've played this so many times now. It's pretty ridiculous. Oh boy! So We're the challenge the this time, it's not going to be a speed run. It's not going to be anything it's crazy. crazy. It's going to be don't level up and get money, which is going to be difficult because we can't really piece? kill You'll anything. Definitely need your help. <laughs> so this would be a terrible time to have it go awry. 
Uh, also, it's very hard to do a speed run with a good time when you Just have no gear on your Imaginator. Like I you said, know what I'm the saying? Dungeon is always like, he's pretty slow if you can't tell. Uh, very slow. <laughs> yeah. Actually, we've never done so, here we are. Uh, I'm looking for the eyeball. Uh, if you did not know, if you ever get in a situation where you're like, man, I just need a little bit of cash, don't, don't you touch them. Okay, this isn't a bad way to do it. Uh, if I can get to the eyeball, I will showcase it quickly. I think the eyeball is going to be up here. The question is, will anything spawn that will interfere? If you go fast enough, I found you can typically do this. That's what we want. This guy right here, sometimes I can pin him in. I'm trying really hard not to hit the chompies. Get out of here, chompy. Good lord, I don't need that XP. Okay. I don't want spell punks to spawn either. Damn, kill it. Okay. Uh, this is not working super good. Okay, he's pinned now. Got it. Come on. Oh, we're going to be close if we didn't make it. Okay, always make sure you pick up those little rubies. We got it. We've nailed it. We are... <laughs> you know what? Let's see if we can get to the... Uh, we would have to kill things, though. Um, <laughs> there's our arena door, right? So we want to take this path back here and spin it around. Then we've got the money we need, but, I mean, we're in here, <laughs> and... Maybe we should just go for it. Let's let's go ahead and grab some extra cash while we're here being greedy, right? Just as well. <laughs> so we've got plenty of cash for the upgrades now. And I think what I'll do is switch to Captain Dofin and show you just how proficient this wacko is. Hear that? Sounds like the tide! I'm only doing this before the Imaginite now. I mean, we're so freaking close, right? <laughs> so, this guy is a madman. If you've never... I so wish he could have legs, because you can just breeze through this entire game with this guy. <laughs> it is ridiculous. He's probably the least, you know, height Imaginator I've ever made. <laughs> but this man is a freaking legend, and you're about to see why. Uh, shut up, Flynn. I don't know why you can't skip this. And it's slow at the end, too. But uh, basically, Captain Dofin just wrecks anything and everything in front of him. And he does it very efficiently. <laughs> you just spam the uh, elemental attack to get around, and then, I mean, I'll just go toe-to-toe -to -toe with these... One of the toughest enemies in the game, really, in this arena. And he can just destroy everything. It is pretty insane. Right? <laughs> I mean, the fact that he can so efficiently eradicate everything is just mind-boggling. But uh, we're done. That's that's all the time in the world it takes. So, yeah, the sad thing is you can't skip any of this. <laughs> but uh, obviously, had we have done this with our Light Knight, we would have been way past level 5, and that would not be good. So, let's hope that we get maybe like the Jester Staff or something, right? Not gonna be it. Oh, Hipster Head. Hmm. We could possibly use that. You never knew. Um, you can actually walk on that ledge. Just FYI, you can't do it between gates two and three. New bazooka weapon. That's not bad if we wanted to make a uh, water element guy. So we'll grab the rest of this XP, cause why not, right? And our final Imaginite chest. Be a set part. Be a set part. Be a set part. New leg guards. Set part. Yeah, I'll take it. <laughs> Alright, so basically I've been doing a crud ton of that, just grinding out three Imaginite chests complete. in this area. And uh, it was Captain Dofin actually that uh, clicked off that minute and 49 second run. That wasn't even me trying. I was just literally ho-hum going through here trying to get Imaginite pieces. So uh, my apologies for the bonus content, but I do hope you enjoyed. And we now have adequate cash to purchase everything. So uh, let's switch. Actually... Let's let Captain Dofin go, because I can get there quicker. <laughs> but yeah, 
This is kind of what I would do with Zap back in the day. Just ride the waves because it was quicker, you know. So here we are, and we're going to switch. I did the other night get a pirate hat, um, but I'm still kind of thinking I want to keep the captain hat on him. <laughs> so anyway, we are back with our light night, and we can continue on. So uh, did we showcase the upper cutting sword or not? I don't know. I think we did, but we didn't master it, right? So again, basically right there, 76 to 114. Let's upgrade it. Master Mastered Uppercutting Sword. Press Y to knock enemies up in the air. Hit them with X while they're in the air to send them flying. Hmm. Is that going to do the same damage? 76? Yeah. So, 76 to 114. Uh, primary hit. That's what we'll type in. And I can't showcase that at all here. We're going to have to go upstairs for it. <laughs> so my apologies there. But after that, we have got Spinning Slash. Press Y for a spinning attack. Let's go ahead and quickly showcase... What? Was that like that before? So basically what this does, if you're point blank range with an enemy, it will fire off three hits of 25 to 38. So uh, let's come in here. We're going to master it. I'm sorry, we're going to master this. <laughs> Press Y for a spinning attack. Hold Y to spin longer. All right, so I'm assuming that we're going to do the same damage initially. He's doing that again. Why? What is going on? I feel like the screen got a lot darker too, but I don't know if it's just because I was up and down or something. Uh, anyway, here we go. <laughs> Okay, so standard form, it's still going to be three. I think that was 24. <laughs> um, let me try and count. Somewhere around 24. <laughs> so uh, 25 to 38, 3x, hold. 25 to 38, 24x. Again, that's something we could slow down in editing and count, but uh, I'm kind of more concerned with proceeding on. That dummy is not flashing. So let's see what happens when we purchase the next one. Uh, Mighty Cleave. Press Y to hit foes with powerful shockwaves. Now, this is a very important attack, and I'm going to show you why. He's doing it again. What's the problem there? All right, so... You test this thing out, right, and you get that, and you're like, oh, okay, so it's just this aura of energy that slides out in front, and what does it do? And you're like, 17, so what's standard, and you do it again. And you're like, 11 to 17, that's kind of lame. And that would be true. Uh, it's a very slow attack, and then you only do 11 to 17. Granted, there's like three orbs, and they sometimes pierce enemies, as you can see there. But did you see the bigger number? That wasn't a 10. That was a 101. <laughs> so when you get point blank range with things, or within a radius even, it's actually a pretty good radius, you're going to do 101 with the sword. And then the wave is sort of like just bonus at 11 to 17. Uh, so it's a pretty good attack. Now the other thing, note what I'm doing here, I am charging this thing up. Now sadly... Uh, it doesn't really seem to have an effect, but if you needed to hold off, you could. Uh, you could sort of intimidate, you could get an enemy real weak and be like, <laughs> you know, whatever your play style is. I thought maybe it had something to do with the length or the distance that the orbs go, but you saw those time out right there just past the edge of the stairs. And I'll charge this one up for roughly 10 seconds or so. And it went basically the same distance. So uh, it is worth noting a lot of people probably just come in and if you're quickly assessing things, you're like, oh, 11 to 17, screw that, man. That's so lame. But then again, you get point blank range with somebody and it's like, oh, that's why it was such a slow hit. Uh, you know, really putting some effort into that one, huh? 
<laughs> so I'm excited to see how this one upgrades because it's pretty freaking sweet as is. So Mastered Mighty Cleave. Press Y to hit foes with powerful shock waves. Hold Y to increase. So now I guess it's doing what I thought it should have been doing. Uh, we're going to hold Y to increase damage and range. All right. So following the format, I assume we'll do the same 101 to 150. Why is he... Mm -hmm. Yeah, 101 and 11. Looks like that stays the same. So, 101, to, which is pretty good, I'm not going to lie, with 11 to 17 wave. And now if we charge it, I don't know if there's going to be tears to the charging, or we went to red. It's probably all there's going to be. 134. You'd think it'd do more than that. And it did 134 there, so basically blue, red, hit. Uh, it did increase the wave though, so that's good. Doubled it. Uh, charge, 134. Half of that would be 67. Alright. So 194, 201 would be our critical. With 22 to 33 wave. And let's come back down here, just like I showcased, and hit this. Simple. Uh, now I'm going to hold it for two seconds, go to red. Oh, that like doubles the distance, man. So that is worthwhile, really, when you get right down to it. Uh, if we could position this better, it would be great. Well, we can't, but uh, you get the idea. Uh, we got a nice little increase there. 101 became 134, and the wave doubled 1117, 22 to 33. So, uh, not a bad upgrade, really, when you get right down to it. And it was easy to showcase, which is wonderful. <laughs> but uh, what we want to do now is the ground stab. And this is sort of my my complaint. When I initially came in and was playing with the knight, first thing I did is jump up in the air and press the primary button and I didn't have a ground pound and I was really sad about it. Then when I came in and I was like looking through all the names and everything, I was like, oh, there's a ground stab here. And I was like, but wait, why would they take that away from the primary? Now that we've mastered the primaries, Duelist and Gladiator, and we get Wind Shear and the Vortex, I understand why they did it and it's not as big of a deal to me. But one of my big things is I just love the ground pounds. I think they're super cool. And uh, this the knight, obviously, is one of the characters that has a great reason to have said ground pounds. So uh, the ground stab, though, not uh, terrible. Uh, you press Y to stun enemies by shaking the ground. Now, this isn't, like, super impressive or anything. Why does he do that? The Curse of Dauphin. Uh, but 17 to 26, and then just like with our elemental powers that we covered last time, it stuns the enemies for two seconds. So I'm assuming when we master this, we're going to keep that and just enhance it somehow. Mastered Ground Stab. Press Y to stun enemies by shaking the ground. The Force will unleash an expanding shockwave. Hmm. Let's see. So what does that look like over here? Oh, I like that. <laughs> so once again, we were doing 17 to 26. We still are, but the shockwave does 28. That ain't bad, man. Okay, cool. So uh, 17 to 26. Not 0 to 26, but 26. And stuns, I'll assume it's still two seconds. <laughs> Sun's enemies, two seconds. Shockwave, which looks amazing, also deals an additional 28 to 42. So uh, I kind of like that attack, really. Which, again, I am somebody that loves the, you know, jump up and slam the ground attack. So that's just kind of my style. Where we're to now is the Soul Gem. And boy, things... They actually don't get too complicated here, but we're going to investigate them further. So it is called Excalibur Execution. You press right trigger to trade health for a temporary speed and damage boost. So the way this works, okay, when I press right trigger every single time, I think one time I had it take away 11 health. I don't really know how. I don't know why. I don't know if some specific condition was met. Uh, obviously, I haven't played around with it a whole, whole bunch, but 
it almost always takes away 37 health, okay? And then the impact around you is going to deal damage. I didn't see that at all on level 1. Uh, it was probably there. Level 2, uh, we were doing 26 to 39. At level 5, we're doing 28 to 42. It does have a good radius, so it can hit both dummies pretty easy. The catch with this one, and we've seen this with other Imaginators, you're thinking, oh, you know, speed and damage boost. I'll tell you right now, you get basically 13 seconds, 12 to 13-ish, give or take. You're significantly quicker, and then damage boost. You know, last time we saw that <laughs> uh, with a Smasher, it was like you have a better critical hit chance is what it amounted to. So I was thinking the same thing here, or a nightmare scenario where everything increased, and it turned out to be a hybrid. <laughs> so basically what happens is you get an entirely new damage output, but it only applies to your weapon powers. So when we do Excalibur Execution, and we were to come in and use Rainbow Rampage in mastered form, it's not going to do anything different. It doesn't enhance it at all. If you love what we just bought, Ground Stab, and you're like, oh, it's going to do more damage? You know, what's 17 going to become 34? No, it does nothing to the secret techniques, unless it changes, which I don't think it would have. But where it does change everything is to Duelist and to Gladiator. <laughs> so uh, first thing I want to do is showcase this to you. We are at 420, right? So you will see a blue number, probably two blue numbers, and a red number. The red number will be us being debited health. And then the blue number should be 28 to 42. <laughs> There it is. So that's what I wanted to showcase. <laughs> and I'm going to copy and paste. And now the way this is going to work, pay attention here. We are, let's go back so I can order this appropriately. We've got Doula selected. This is the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 attack. And last time around, level 5 standard, we did 50. Uh, the number that we got damage-wise from Excalibur Execution was 72. Uh, where we finished up with a 67, I think, we finished up with a 97. It's a pretty big jump. <laughs> okay, so what I want to do now is we're going to hit right trigger, and we're going to see what happens to us. So uh, here we go. 94, 65. So let's, let's start with that. This is what I typically do. Uh, 94, 65, 65. We're going to do it again and get the final two. 105 and 121. All right, 105, 121. I'm not taking time to even mess with the criticals, uh, but what I do then is semicolon and glad for gladiator. And uh, basically, let's take a look at what we just pinned in. Our first swing here is 65. When we have Excalibur Execution running, it is 94. All right. Our second and third hit on the Duelist attack was 45 at level 5. When you use the Soul Gym, it jumps 20 to 65. The fourth hit was 73. It is now 105. And our final hit was 84 to 126. It is now 121 standard. I forgot about wind shear. I wonder if it is impacted. Uh, let me uh, wind shear pin this in. So the wind shear basically again is our jump attack with the primary. Where's my, is that what I want? Yes it is, okay. So jump and slam that thing right there is doing 67, right? Standard at level five. Let's once again do this. <laughs> and jump. Oh, it's it's not impacted. It's just going to do 67. So, there you go. Uh, that is our answer. Um, let's see, what is our currently selected... Okay, so let me showcase this for you. It'll work out real well. You're doing 11 four times and you explode at 168, right? So, just to kind of prove to you this does not impact elemental, I'm going to soul gym it and we do no additional damage. <laughs> All right. So now what I want to do is come in and we're going to switch over to, not that, uh, Gladiator as our primary attack. Press X for strong swings, X while jumping to create a suction field in front of you. 
So, uh, once again, this one where we stand, 45, 50, 101, 112, right? Saw them right there perfectly, even with the critical on the finale. So what I want to do is soul gym it, and we're getting 65, 72, 146, 162, 65, I've blown that. Because <laughs> uh, that spreadsheet was not where it should be. So Gladiator is going to be, let's do this again, 65, 72, 146, it was 162, right? <laughs> I think so. Yeah, okay, we got it. So that's pretty much it, man. Again, I can't showcase any of this in an arena because we will die. How did we blow this up? I guess I'm one of the light explosions or something got it. So what I want to do is run up here with you and go inside where we can kind of get a better feel for the vortex at least. Maybe some of the other uh, highlights. And it should bump my health back up to 420. Uh, we'll wait and see, but I'm going to check the time. Okay, 30 minutes. Had we have not had to go into the undead realm, <laughs> we would probably have this done in like 20 to 25, but hey. So... Uh, we want to come over. Man, this guy is so slow. I've been playing with, like, my fully researched Imaginators that have, like, the special gear now. <laughs> and this is just slow. So our level 5 mastered primary attack. This is Gladiator. That gives you a good look at it. Uh, we'll go ahead and switch over to Duelist. Dun -dun -dun. This is going to be our 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 hit. Yeah, that eradicated him in one cycle, which is pretty freaking impressive, I'm not going to lie. Uh, then we want to come in and we want to showcase this stuff. So, uh, let's start with the easy one. <laughs> so, the ground stab stuns enemies by shaking the ground. Force will unleash an expanding shockwave, right? So, I'm assuming it still maintains its two-second stun factor. And we're going to... Not... That was not what I intended to do <laughs> at all. Okay, so timeout. There we go. So here's this guy. Yeah, he was still stunned for just two seconds. Our 17 to 26, 28 from the force field. That's pretty much what I needed to know. So um, I don't think you're going to hit the same enemy twice with the force field or the shockwave, I should say. But basically, instead of just doing 17 to 26, you will do a possible 45 to 68, if you will. Will basically be what that attack ultimately means now. Whoops. Uh, so now we want to look at the Mastered Mighty Cleave. Uh, y to hit foes with powerful shockwaves. Hold Y to increase the range and damage. Ation complete. Now we want to come in and take a gander at our Mastered Spinning Slash. Again, this is something I might try to slow down in editing so we can get a feel for it, but I just tap Y. We do three hits at 25 to 38, and if I don't tap Y, we just do this. And you can move it around. Let's actually get two, two in here and showcase it. <laughs> it's got a really nice radius, as you can see here. You can kind of spread the love around. Not a bad deal, um, and I wonder if enemies would have, I don't think many would be able to get through to you, actually. So that's something to consider. Basically, the whole duration you're holding it down, you might kind of have like a period of invincibility. I guess if they had projectiles or if it was a spell punk with an orb type of attack, I don't know if you would deflect them or if they would come through and hit you, but it's something that would be worth investigating. And now the big one, the one that requires extra effort. <laughs> so, Mastered Uppercutting Sword, right? This one was pretty straightforward. We were just doing 76 to 114. Uh, we bought the Mastered. We're still doing the same thing, but hit them with X while they're in the air to send them flying. So send them flying. Up in the air and then flying. So this is what that looks like. Let's hit an enemy up in the air. So he's up in the air, and that's all that happened. And so now we want to send him flying. Hmm. Let's try this again. Let's let him get over here. 
Was it just gonna be a 98 critical every time? Let's see. Maybe it will be. Just 98 crit every single time. Well. Hmm, that's what it's looking like, isn't it? <laughs> it would help if we didn't kill them in three hits, but that's not really a problem. I'm thinking that's what we're gonna get, is just decimation. So, up in the air, fly away at 98. Up in the air, fly away at 98. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna log it as. <laughs> I feel pretty good about it. Uh, 76 to 114 to the air. Uh, primary hit will be crit of 98 and sent flying. So I'm calling it what it is. All right, just pretty much verbatim from the game. That said, this completes the night research. We have showcased not only the weapon powers, but also the secret techniques. Um, what I want to hit on while the soul gym is cool you know it's definitely unique i'm kind of disappointed uh because i was really really drawn to the knights right uh, it's one of the things that appeals to me the most chop chop igniter so on and so forth and while it's neat and unique you know you drain your health you do a little extra damage what i hate is that it's limited only to the weapon power right i said this with the other one that was like this i think it should apply to everything and if not the elementals it should at least apply to your secret technique right um if i use soul gym excalibur execution and our mastered uppercutting sword is doing 76 and 98 it would be cool if it did 100 standard damage and 148 default crit when we send them flying but it doesn't it does not work in conjunction with the secret techniques so that the fact that it's limited to only benefiting two attacks which by the way you're only going to have one of those active at a time you know i don't envision anyone being in the middle of a battle and being like okay i've had enough of duelist time to switch to gladiator and then going through the steps of using the soul gym to get the extra increase the fact that you're draining your health okay i don't really affiliate that with a knight i would tie that in with either dark undead or magic in particularly undead followed slightly behind by dark all right that's sort of like a ghost roaster uh, type of a maneuver if you will I would have been content with a knight if we had just some cliche knight-like gaming tactic you know a charging lance a joust maneuver um, spawn a horse that tramples on thing I don't know <laughs> you know um, and really just wailing away like the smasher you do the soul gym and you just do a crud ton of damage with the smashing club uh, if we would have just had some like flurry of swords uh, or some special maneuver, or what, anything, really. I'm just kind of sad that this one, A, drains your health, because it doesn't seem night-like. A dark night, yes, an undead night, maybe, but just an air, an earth, a fire, a life, a tech, a, a light night like we have here. It doesn't really fit the mold, in my opinion. And then again, it's it technically applies to two attacks, but you can only have one primary active at a time. So it almost feels wasted, and I wish it was just like something more cliche and basic, and I ultimately would have A, used it more, and B, enjoyed it a lot more. But uh, it's still neat. I still like everything we've got with the knight, but uh, I think I will alternate between these. Um, both have their points. Uh, Duelist, again, is kind of be like singular hit. Gladiator is going to be more of like a rough and tumble you know area damage and then secret techniques uh this is fantastic and it's a lot of fun if you like to send the enemies flying if this blocks projectiles or deflects them or something and enemies can't get to you it would be pretty op honestly um i love this one the range that you get and the fact that it's super powerful with the sword and then the ground stab i've just always been a big fan of but uh, I don't know that I would use it. It and this one are kind of the slower attacks. Uh, and then this one is just kind of instant gratification. 
And this one is pretty cool, but you have to tag team it. You know, you can't just use your Y button. You have to then time it and get them. I assume it would probably work while they're highlighted in blue. In fact, let's try that now. I'm going to send this guy up. Let him land. So, yeah, it'll still work while he's blue. So you don't have to hit him literally while he's in midair, <laughs> you know. But uh, that said, man, uh, overall I'm pretty happy. I do have pretty big plans for this light night. Not going to tell you what they are now. You'll see it eventually in due time. Um, but yeah, with that said, I hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned a little something. If so, leave a like, leave a comment. Skylanderclub.com is a forum. That's where I will be publishing all these spreadsheets I'm constantly talking about. Uh, hopefully, it'll basically fill the void for not having a strategy guide, essentially. Uh, granted, the videos kind of do that, but some people prefer just the quick text, you know, look it up and go type of a deal. So uh, that'll cover for you. If you have not subscribed, make sure you do that. If you're not following me on Twitch, make sure you do that. Uh, uh, last week I was added to the affiliate program, which doesn't really change a lot, but that's where I've streamed. And then YouTube, I went to streaming there, and they don't archive videos correctly, and I don't know if I can stream Nintendo games or not. <laughs> and so uh, it's a mess, and I'll just do it on Twitch where I won't get penalized or have my entire channel deleted type of a thing, right? Uh, so that's sort of the story there, but uh, follow me on Twitter. I will always tweet before I live stream regardless of where it is or what game it might be. Uh, similarly, uh, I will tweet all of my videos, so YouTube can't really be accounted on for video notifications. And I will make sure to always tweet my vids. Uh, Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday afternoons, that's typically when you should expect to see Skylanders research. In terms of streaming Skylanders, there is still a crud ton of Imaginite that I do not have. Um, I mean, an awful lot of it. I mean, just coming through here, you will see things. I really like that set, the Metal Skull Armor. Missing two pieces. Uh, there's some of these that we have nothing of, right? Uh, and then just miscellaneous things like weapons and heads and chests and all kinds of those items we're missing a lot that's why i've been and i've been grinding a lot of it in the undead realm if anyone is interested in watching that i don't know if that would appeal to people or you just want to chat about crud while i just like rumble through there you know over and over again uh, I would be fine streaming that if there's an audience that would be interested in seeing it. Uh, there would be some parts I'd be super excited about getting. There's some parts I'd be like, eh, not a big deal. Uh, and we might duplicate. Around the map, I'm getting a lot of duplicates, which is bad because we don't have everything. But at the same time, duplicating the stats, <laughs> that starts to be a pretty lucrative uh, mindset when you get right down to it. But my main goal is to get all the freaking parts, man. Uh, there's so many parts I want to use that I don't have and that's what I'm working towards so if you'd be interested in seeing the you know grinding of Imaginite let me know I'd be more than willing to stream that and uh, again if you can't catch the streams because I do it late or you're not free when I'm streaming I would export them over to YouTube so that's kind of how we would roll but <laughs> so, uh, that said hope you enjoyed hope you learned a little something uh, once again if you have not subscribed please do so if you really want to help me out I don't ask for your money or if you to join a patron or whatever any of that crud just please tell other people about my channel. <laughs> it is free, and that will uh, ultimately bring in more viewers. And the more people that view and comment and like, the better chance I have of people actually finding my channel, uh, which is buried under people that don't even really play this game anymore, that do so in a completely different style than myself. And it's extremely frustrating. So uh, if you really want to help me out, just tell other people about the channel, man. That's, that's the uh, best thing you can ever do. Nonetheless, hope you enjoyed it. I, like I said, I've got pretty big plans for this little light night, so stay tuned for that. I'll catch you back here for the next installment of Skylanders Research. Adios.